Um, now the issue that I want to um, talk about today is that after I shot uh, a round of, sport of sporting clay with these chokes that I um, screwed in by hand, so I hand tightened them, I had a hell of a hard time taking them off. Hello everyone, this is a quick tabletop review of this uh, Briley Helix Hunter chokes that I've got recently. I've got uh, two pairs, the medium range and the short range. Uh, now to start, I'll tell you that I prefer non-ported chokes, as you can see. Uh, so because of that, I had in mind for a while uh, the uh, Kix Industries uh, Vortex uh, chokes, but um, I prefer uh, to hunt and to shoot clay with the same uh, gun and the same chokes and I didn't look like the constrictions that uh, Kicks Industries was offering for those uh, Vortex chokes. So I chose uh, Briley's uh, Helix Hunter because they were um, not closer but exactly uh, what I wanted. It was um, the, the close range ones are uh, 5,000 of an inch uh, constriction and the medium range ones are 15 thousandths of an inch uh, constriction. So, as you can see, they uh, just like the uh, clay shooting uh, chokes that they sell, uh, they have this kind of diagonal uh, porting and they're <laughs> very extended, so to speak. I think this is about two inch, just under two inch. And um, I didn't have a chance to shoot them at the patterning board yet, but I, I shot a couple of rounds of uh, skeet and uh, sporting clay with them and I got solid breaks. So I trust that uh, on paper they're gonna have um, a, a good pattern. Uh, however, uh, today I want to focus on one particular issue uh, that I encountered with uh, both of them. So I've got these medium range ones and if you want to tell what chokes you have in your gun without unscrewing them and reading what's on the on the side which in time is going to probably faint Briley. Uh, there are there's a marking on the side in here so the um, medium range has two dots the short range has one dot and the long range that I didn't buy uh, I think they have three dots. Um, now the issue that I want to um, talk about today is that after I shot uh, a round of, of sporting clay with these chokes that I um, screwed in by hand, so I hand tightened them, I had a hell of a hard time taking them off to put the um, uh, short range ones, the, the 5000 uh, uh, of an inch uh, constriction to shoot some skid and I didn't think much about it I thought I just well, I was excited and I over tightened them and then I shot a round of skid with um, these jokes and I had the same problem no amount of grease you'd apply to the choke will um, make it uh, come out uh, easy so I gave it a thought and I believe that this diagonal porting with every shot that you shoot acts like a percussion tool, like a percussion wrench, tightening the, um, the choke with every shot you take. And I'm sure uh, we can um, explain the physics behind it. So, uh, it's either the action and the reaction. So the, the diagonal porting is um, twisting the wad and the shot and the wad and the shot is reacting against the choke and, and pushing it the other way over tightening it as I said with each shot now when I say over tighten I had to put an insane amount of force to take the um, the uh, chokes out of the uh, barrel and on the bright side um, your Briley Helix Hunter chokes will never come loose. On the downside, I'm afraid that in time it will damage the um, uh, threads inside of the barrel. They're not cheap. If it's just the chokes that are going to be damaged, hey, that's uh, 
the price to pay to use these uh, chokes. Every once in a while you have to buy new chokes. But if this over tightening is going to damage the threads inside the barrel uh, in time, that may be a deal breaker. I'm still going to use them for the remainder of the season and then I'm gonna talk to some people who know more than me. Maybe Briley uh, has some input um, about this. I'm sure I'm not the uh, only one or the first one to uh, uh, have this issue. But bottom line, um, I, they look very good. They really look very good. Super extended. You put your uh, gun on the rack, you know exactly which one is your gun. They look very good. Um, the pattern, as I said, I expect it, or the, paper, the pattern on paper, I expect to be very good because I've got very good brakes uh, shooting uh, sporting clay with the medium range ones and the uh, skit with the short range ones. But um, this thing that just after just one round of, of skit, you have to put such an amount of, of force to take the, the chokes out. Um, it may prove a deal breaker. Um, I don't know yet. And if I hear back from Riley or if I talk to some gunsmith that I trust um, and they give me a competent opinion, I'm gonna come back um, with um, uh, more information when I'm going to post uh, the, the footage from uh, shooting clay and uh, patterning uh, these uh, two pairs of chokes on the uh, patterning board. That's all for now. Cheers.